What's up y'all, it's time to feed the beasts. Oh, y'all had to drop that pole second run on this one. We got him. Ooh, we got him. It's gonna be a good one. Look at this. Holy. That's why we lost that second one. We can't have that happen again. Ooh, he's pulling me down the bank, y'all. You guys. This fish is rolling. Oh, oh my. This might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. He took a lot of line right there. Coming back this way. Oh, he's coming back this way, thank God. This is a absolute tank. How am I gonna do this by myself? We got to figure it out, ain't we? Whew. Trying to get back over here. This thing was ripping so hard. And my drag is all the way up. This is gonna be a heavy weight. Please don't break off. Please don't break off on me. Hopefully I can get him in close enough to the bank. Get a lasso on him. Cause this thing's gonna be, might be bigger than the last one. Seven and a half feet, seven, seven. Is what we had last time here. You guys, absolute tank. Come back this way. I'm gonna have to change the dam. Oh, you guys. Look at this. I'm not patty caking. Like I always say, my drag is up. They might not believe me about this one, y'all. That's why we wear the cam, isn't it? In case they don't believe us. When you're pulling out fish bigger than a heavyweight out of the out of the river. Oh come on. Come on. Let's see him. Let's see the size of this head, you guys. Oh my god. Seven plus, seven foot plus again. Seven plus, come on. Keep that tension on him. This fish is about to go crazy, y'all. tired might have to bring him in down here a little bit this is absolutely crazy it's gonna be hard to do by myself but if it was easy everybody do it 
Wouldn't I? <laughs> this fish is an absolute tank. We've got to get him in here. We got a strap for him around the mouth. Oh, no, oh, we're stuck, y'all. Don't want to lose that strap. I don't want to lose the boots. This is the hard part, y'all. Seven foot six in a little bit. He's got to get it back in the water. Seven foot six. Oh, it's so muddy, I can't get back in there. I'm absolutely spent. Landing a seven and a half foot alligator gar in quicksand mud up to your kneecaps is not easy. I wouldn't advise anybody trying to do it by yourself, but we did get it done. Let's get him back. Here he goes. He's taking some air. As y'all can see, that's why they can live up to 14 hours without air. They can get air from the, from the surface. That's why I let him do what he's doing. Let him relax. I don't want to push him out there while he's worn out. Look at that. Seven foot six alligator gar. Second biggest of the season. My second seven footer ever. Man, that was a fight. Appreciate everybody that watched this video to the end. Hit that like, subscribe if you haven't done so. Put all the notifications on so you can catch me when I'm doing this live. Until I see you guys next time. Trinity River, North Texas, Dallas area. Adios.